Okay, all you awesome people on YouTube. I've been carrying this bag around for a while, kind of testing it out. This is from Maxpedition. It's a great little EDC bag. Yes, there is a link down in the description section and also down in the comments. So make sure to check that out. Let's just get right into it. Hit that like button, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. I appreciate those of you who are following this channel, hitting the notification bell. But I've been doing a lot of urban traveling, let's say, just going around and I just wanted a place to put all my stuff and also have some emergency supplies just in case because you never know. Earthquake, fire, flood, road gets shut down, freeway, you know, whatever the reason is. Anyways, I just wanted a bag that I could carry my stuff in. This is just a quick video. I'm going to try to get more in depth and do a full bag dump in the future. So definitely a good reason to hit the notification bell and also this is the subscribe button. But let's get into it. The bag from top to bottom is give or take 12 to 14 inches tall. You know, remember, this is like a soft material. So it all depends what you put in here, how you stuff it, whether it gets swollen up or shrunken down. You get the idea. But give or take 12 to 14 inches tall. Somewhere in the neighborhood of around 10 to 12 inches wide, left to right. You know, that's without the water bottle pouch. Then in terms of depth, it's give or take with the measuring tape here. It's give or take between six to eight inches wide, like give or take. The water bottle pouch itself is around seven inches tall, let's say. And it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but the width of this is somewhere in the ballpark of four inches, give or take. You can fit a standard size Nalgene bottle in there. It does have a nice like little cinch buckle here with the springy buckles that you can adjust and the pull cord. You can tighten this as much as you need to or whatever. The shoulder strap is pretty sizable. Like a small person or a double XL person could easily fit into this thing. It does come with this cross body strap, which I just bungeed up with a little bongo tie. Like I said, I'll try to put links to some of this stuff down below in the description. And like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to do a future video where I am going to get into this bag, dump everything out. You'll see what I carry as my EDC stuff. There is a clip here that you can clip something to if you needed to. I like to keep everything inside the bag, but you know, sometimes you're out and about and you want to clip an umbrella here or something like you may need it quickly or whatever. The buckles do feel solid, like that good hard ABS plastic. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. It feels, it, they actually feel like military grade buckles, even though they're not stamped as such. The back of the pack is well padded, as you can see. I would say the padding on here, on this part, is probably like a quarter of an inch or so. It does have really good stitching. And in some areas and places, you can see it's double stitched, like this would be part of the shoulder strap. Speaking of the padding on the shoulder strap, this is a little bit thicker. I would say three eighths of an inch to maybe a half an inch thick. You've got some molly up here, if that's what you want to call it. Sometimes I'll put a tourniquet up here. Like if I know I'm going out in the wilderness and I'm using this as like a hiking pack or like a, just a quick day backpack type of vibe. You know, you never know, you could fall, break an ankle, whatever, get bit by a rattlesnake. I hope not, knock on wood, <laughs> literally. Anyways, the front of the pack, let's get into this. You do have one small compartment that's here that's kind of meant for like flat items. Like let's say like you want to put an ID in here. I use this for business cards and I actually take this with me to like trade shows and that kind of vibe just to kind of you know, easily accessible. You, ha you There is a buckle here, like a snap ring that you can unsnap or, and then zip down and then pull whatever you need. The first compartment here is usually where I keep, I can show, I'll give you a little teaser and show you some of this. Oh, what a tease. There are compartments within compartments, as you can see. So like there's a compartment here. I think I've got like dental floss in here and some stuff like that. There is a keychain ring that I attach my window breaker to and seatbelt cutter. And usually I'll ride with this like in the passenger seat, you know, whatever vehicle I'm traveling in. You do get a nice, give or take, it's around a four by four or so inch piece of soft Velcro here. So if you want to stick something to that, that's there. Then you've got another little pocket here for like pens. That's usually what I keep in there, that kind of stuff. This is a double zipper. So one zips this way, one zips this way. You can kind of center it wherever you need to. Then you've got a nice Y strap that is, it's adjustable up here and it's also adjustable down here, which is kind of cool because sometimes you need more 
or less, like you need more here, you're gonna put something rolled up here, or sometimes you need more down here because you're gonna put like a sweater down here. You get the idea. There is some nice molly here. You've got like two sections, as you can see, nice logo. Coming up the pack, you've got your buckle for your Y strap. Here's some bungee cord that you can roll something up into, tuck something into there. You've got a soft Velcro patch here for some patches, right, to do whatever you wanna do. There's also another little piece that comes here and there's actually a pocket in here as well. So you could tuck something in there. Lots of little pockets and compartments, hidden little things. There is a side handle that's unpadded, but it still feels solid in the hand. You also get a nice top handle that is padded that you can grab and move around. Like let's say you're sitting down at a table, you're in a restaurant, coffee place, whatever, and you just, you want to move it from one side of the of your chair to the other side of the chair. You can grab it either by the side or by the top. You get the idea. Once you unbuckle the Y, your main compartment is right here. Let's see, I've got the two zippers going on. Uh, just as a little tease, what I keep in here usually is like a first aid kit, hat, sunglasses, that kind of vibe. So I've got my hat, my like working gloves, a flashlight, some sunscreen. There's a first aid kit, bleed kit, trauma kit. You get the idea. There's also some pockets that are in here as well. I keep a eating utensil kit in there. Had that thing forever. Love it. Links to most of the stuff will be down in the description, so make sure to check that out. Then one of the coolest features is, is there is this little hidden pouch back here, which is great for if you're a righty, like if you're a right-handed person and you're pulling left, you get the idea, right? Right? You see what I'm saying? What I did was, was I put uh, some extra paracord here. You get the idea with like a, with like another buckle. So I had something solid to grab onto so I can just pull and then zip. It does go from here to about like right there. So it doesn't go all the way around, but it's just enough to get your right hand in here if you needed to grab something in an emergency. And you do have a patch of soft Velcro in there as well. It's a little bit bigger than the patch in the front. I'd say this one is maybe like a good four inches down and then maybe six to eight inches this way. So you've got plenty of room to play around with, plenty of room to move something forwards or backwards that you're gonna Velcro in there. If you do decide to go the hydration pack route, like a Camelback or something similar, uh, Hydra Blue makes a couple good ones now. There's there's different companies, but whatever your favorite company is, there is an outlet for, where is it? Right here for a hose. So let's say you are gonna run like some kind of camelback with the hose. You would run your camelback down, your, your hose connection would be right here and your hose would come out. And then obviously you can either feed it back up through here to sip as you go that way and then down or however you want to do it up and back or whatever you get the idea if you decide to go from the top up here unfortunately there's no hole up here i guess you could feed your hydration through here your tube through here but there's no hole per se that's designated as a hydration tube hole you just have to zip accordingly so as you pull your zipper Let's see if I can do this with one hand. As you pull your zipper, you just gotta leave a little room there to run your hose through. But anyways, you get the idea. And obviously that little, that little loop in there will hold your hose tight. You get the idea, this is just a basic interview. I guess you could put a tourniquet here if you wanted to as well. Anyways, lots of places, lots of things, lots of D-rings there. Actually, I believe there are two D-rings. There's one. Where are you? There was one in the front somewhere. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there is one here. And then I believe there's also one. Where was it? Hard to wrangle with one hand. Oh, and there's one here as well. So there you go. So you do have two. You have one here and then one on the side. Right? So you have your, your two D rings. You get the idea, and I'm still getting familiar <laughs> to this pack, obviously. Anyways, I will put links down in the description to some of the stuff that I showed you today. Like I said, this is just kind of like a teaser video to kind of give you the basic dimensions and measurements and all that. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments section. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for when I do do a full pack 
dump to see that. And I'll catch you all in the next video.